طيب Working name properly, huh? <coughs> the voice is really low. One second. Okay, one second. Is it still very low? Is that for everyone? <laughs> The voice really low for everyone. Is it better? Okay, طيب. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban everyone uh, Welcome back after a little break <coughs> Due to illness <coughs> Alhamdulillah I'm feeling much better now but I'm still a little bit under the weather So we say Bismillah Wa natawakkal ala Allah We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy inshallah ta'ala So uh, What we're going to do inshallah is we're going to finish off inshallah what we should have done on Tuesday Which is the second part of the Unit 12 inshallah Then after that We will have some revision sessions Probably on Tuesday and Saturday And then after that inshallah ta'ala You can do the exam The midterm exam And then we will have a one week break And then inshallah we'll continue with unit 13 after that Tayyip uh, Might be delayed maybe by a week Because of the illness and stuff uh, but alhamdulillah for the rest of everything is going according to plan so far. Alhamdulillah alhamd. Taib. So, uh, as I promised you last time when we had the lesson, um, this lesson, okay, one second, let me turn it off. One second, where's the YouTube? Okay. So, let me just mute that. Okay, so. We said last time when we uh, started with Unit 12, the plan was that we uh, focus on Arabic plurals. Okay, so that's uh, today's topic. Okay, so here we are, live class 8. Uh, so we're going to explain Arabic plurals, which I didn't get the chance to explain in more detail last time. And then we're going to do some uh, exercises and practice, inshallah. And then inshallah ta'ala after that we can uh, go and break up our workshops inshallah. Okay? Taib. Taib. Okay. Um, just one second. Just double checking that. posted everything okay so Arabic plurals Arabic plurals um, then there are three types we have Mufrad, Muthanna and Jama' I'm not sure exactly what we explained last week but I'll just uh, go over it again if I have explained or have I explained this last week or I haven't Please excuse me. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, no. All right then. So we have uh, three types of plurals in the Arabic language. Now, uh, in English, we only have singular and plural. So you have book and books. Uh, you have house and houses. Okay. Uh, but Arabic is slightly different. Okay. Arabic, we also have something called dual. Muthanna. So we have Mufrad, which is singular, you're familiar with that. We also have Jama', which is plural, you're familiar with that. But we also have something called Muthanna, which is dual. In other words, two. So for two, we also have a specific, we have specific grammar rules, specific pronouns, and so on and so forth. Something that doesn't exist in the English language. So that's something that takes a little bit of getting used to. Okay, so keep that in mind. 
let's start inshallah with what you're familiar with you're familiar with mufrad but then again mufrad we have masculine and feminine again something you might not have in the english language but we have it in arabic something you already learned so you have muslim and muslimah you have kitab you have haqiba okay and when we say masculine and feminine it could be masculine and feminine as in male and female uh, as in real male and female or it could just be that what in Arabic is called majaz uh, i.e. male and female that they give to the objects it's nothing male or female about it for example we have al shams and al-qamar al shams and al-qamar shams is feminine al-qamar is masculine shams sun is feminine al-qamar moon is masculine why don't ask that's just the way it is kitab book is masculine haqibah bag is feminine why don't ask that's just the way it is type now then we have uh, a dual when it comes to muthanna it's actually pretty straightforward it's nothing too complicated about it all you need to do is you take the actual uh, singular and you add an alif and noon at the end okay you add an alif and noon at the end that's how it works so muslim muslimani muslimah obviously there's a ta over here you keep the ta it becomes muslimatani kitab kitabani haqibah haqibatani that's it that's the definition in Arabic anything that is made plural if you like or dual by adding an alif and noon by adding an alif and noon that's what we call muthanna pretty straightforward now you might be familiar with ya and noon as well so sometimes we say muslimaini uh, muslimataini kitabaini haqibataini we add a ya and a noon instead of an alif and noon this has to do with grammar so that's why I wrote here plus Alif and Noon or Ya and Noon. When do you add Alif and Noon? When do you add Ya and Noon? The simple answer is that Alif and Noon corresponds to the Dhamma. So if that word is meant to have a Dhamma, you add Alif and Noon. When is it meant to have a Dhamma? If it's Mubtada, if it's Khabar, if it's Fa'il, okay, if it's the doer. So for example, Hada Muslimun. Then two of them would be Hada Muslima, Hadani Muslimani. Okay? Uh, okay but you give it a ya and noon if the word is meant to have a fatha or kasra so for example uhibbu um, musliman i love a muslim or uhibbu al muslima i love the muslim okay uhibbu al muslimaini I love the Muslimaini. Now, Muslimaini here is object. I love the two Muslims. And so on and so forth. So don't worry about that at the moment. We'll get there, inshallah. But for now, what you need to know is that how do you know if something is two? If the same word has an added alif and noon or a ya and noon. Okay, it's Maghrib time in UK. Please excuse me. Okay. No problem. Is that for the most of you? Um, then we have for you as well. Okay. Type. Okay, shall the two of you can pray, inshallah, and come back. All right. Inshallah, everything is recorded. <coughs> so we have Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimatani, Muslimataini, Kitabani, Kitabaini, Haqibatani, Haqibataini. All of them is correct. And I already explained when it should be Alif and Noon and when it should be Ayah and Noon. Now this is pretty straightforward, very easy. So far, so good. You have a word, singular, you want to make it dual, add Alif and Noon or add Ayah and Noon. So for example, you might go to a shop and you want to buy two books what do you say do you say uridu ithnain kitab la that would be a major blunder uridu ithnain kitab la in arabic we never say ithnain such and such la the word ithnain we don't use that okay unless we're counting something okay 
Instead, what we say is, we add an alif na alif and an an noon or a ya and noon to the word. So we say, "Uridu kitabaini." Okay. Hada hadani qalamani. These are two pens. You don't say "Hada ithnain qalam." Hada ithnain kitab. La. That would be a major blunder. It requires obviously a little bit of getting used to, but inshallah you'll get there. But keep that in mind. Okay. Then we come to a plural. Now the plural. Before we even go into the masculine and feminine, which obviously is always two separate categories, okay, there's one thing that you need to know, which is that the plural itself is of two categories. We have what we call jama salim, and we have what we call jama taksir. Jama salim stands for sound plural, i.e., it's very easy. You just need to add something to the word. Just the way we added something to the muthanna, the dual. You just add specific things to the word and it makes it jama'. It makes it plural. That's easy. The difficult one is jama' taksir, the broken plurals. Or irregular plurals, if you like. Okay, broken plurals is more of a um, literal translation, jama' taksir. Taksir means to break something. So it's like as if the word's been broken up and, you know, mixed around okay but uh, in terms of you know what corresponds to english plural it would be irregular plurals such as for example you have foot and feet mice okay mouse and mice okay and so on and so forth okay so these are irregular plurals they don't follow a specific pattern or a specific rule regular pl plurals in english we just add an s book books house houses uh laptop laptops yes wall walls and so on and so forth but the irregular plurals yeah no you don't know how it's going to be so it could be anything mice a mouse turns into mice foot is feet tooth teeth and so on and so forth so there there, there is no rule there you just have to memorize it now that's what arabic jama taksir is and the bad news is that most jama most plurals in arabic are jama taksir unfortunately uh, whereas in English, the irregular plurals are very, uh, if you like, uh, they're, they're not they're not widespread, and they're very rare. Uh, it's the opposite in Arabic. In Arabic, most plurals are jamu taksir, they're broken plurals or irregular plurals that you have to memorize. Okay. Let's just finish off the broken plurals first, because the jamu salim uh, is of two categories, whereas this is only of one category. So let me just give you an example. We have. Kitab. What's the plural of kitab? Kutub. What's the plural of haqiba? Haqaib. You see, it doesn't it doesn't follow any specific pattern. It doesn't follow any specific pattern. But when it comes to sound plurals, the story is different. Here, it's easy. We have sound masculine plurals, which we call jam'u mudhakkar salim. We have sound feminine plurals, which we call jam'u mu'annath salim. And we give these English translations at the beginning, but later on going forward will suffice with the Arabic words, inshallah. So make sure you pay attention. Jama' mudhakkar salim. Jama' mudhakkar salim. Sound masculine plural. So jama' means plural. Mudhakkar, masculine, salim, sound. What do we do? We basically add a waw and a noon or a ya and a noon. So it becomes muslimuna and muslimina you must be familiar with this type of plural because most of the quran a lot of the quran you find mu'minuna muslimuna sadiquna muflihuna kafiruna kadibuna it's all over the quran okay um can you say hadaini yes you can yes you can okay so we have Muslimuna and Muslimina. When it comes to the Jama' Mu'annath Salim, we add an Alif and Ta. Easier, this is easier than the Muslimuna and Muslimina because you don't have two possibilities. This one stays the same when it comes to grammar. You add an Alif and Ta. So we have Muslimatun or Muslimatin. Obviously, depending on what harakah should be at the end, again, depending on grammar. Okay? You add an Alif and Ta. Now, what's the difference between 
جمع تكسير عن جمع مؤنث سالم أو جمع سالم Why are these sound plurals and these broken plurals? Who knows? What do we use sound plurals for? And what do we use broken plurals for? Generally speaking, eh? what's the general rule here? Who knows? Answer in the chat, inshallah. Nobody knows? Okay, so the Jama' Mudakkar Salim or Mu'annath Salim, the Jama' Salim, generally speaking, the sound plural, we use it for animate uh, humans, okay, what we call aqil. Okay, so that would be used for nouns that we use for humans, like Muslim. Specifically when they're adjectives, Muslim, Mu'min, Sadiq, Kathib, and so on and so forth. Normally for those we use Jama' Salim. Whereas broken plurals we normally use for things that are inanimate, generally speaking. Not always, but for the most part. Okay? That's one contrast between the two. So for example, we don't say Kitabuna. We don't say Haqibatat. Okay? Haqibatat. <laughs> we don't say that. We don't say Qalamuna. لا. Normally the wow and noon or the ya and noon, which is for the sound plural, it's reserved for things that have aql or rational beings such as humans. Okay? Keep that in mind. Um, طيب. So we have Muslimuna and Muslimina. Now, question What's the difference between the ya and noon that we use for sound masculine and the ya and noon that we use for? Al-Muthanna or Dua. Who knows the difference? Because now there's there's a bit of overlap here. We said sound masculine add a ya and noon. Same thing with Muthanna, we said you can add a alif and noon or a ya and noon. There's a little bit of overlap here. How do we know the difference? So that we don't get confused. Who knows? So let's say Muslim. Okay? Or let's say, yeah, Uhibbu, I love two Muslims. And I love all Muslims. How do how would it be? What would be the difference? Because both of them would be using Ya and Noon. We'd have Al Muslim with Ya and Noon. What would be the difference? Who knows? The difference would be that the first one would be the dual would be Uhibbul Muslimaini. Muslimaini. So what does that mean? That basically means that before the Ya and Noon, we have a Fatha. Okay, so here we have Muslimaini, as you can see. Let me increase the font size for these. Can you see this? Muslimaini. Can you see the Fatha on the meme? Yes. So when it comes to dual, then the letter before the Ya and Noon always has a Fatha. So we end up with a Maddulin, what's called. Okay, or a, or a, or a diphthong. Muslimaini. Maini. Okay? Whereas the Jama' Mudakkar Salim, we also add a Ya and Noon, but the difference again lies in the word that comes before the Ya and Noon. It is the letter that comes before the Ya and Noon, it's going to have a Kasra. So it will be Uhibbul Muslimina. Muslimina. That's one difference. Another difference is that the dual or the Muthanna has a Kasra on the Noon. So, Uhibbu al Muslimaini. Whereas the noon on the Jama' Mudakkar Salim it has a fatha. Uhibbu al Muslimina. Not Muslimini. Muslimina. So it's kind of like exact opposite. Okay? So the letter before the Ya and Noon when it comes to Muthanna or Dual has a fatha, whereas the noon has a kasra. Okay? So the letter before has a fatha. And the noon has a kasra. The jama' mudakkar salim is the exact opposite. The latter before has kasra and the noon has fatha. You see the difference? So, al muslimaini, al muslimina. Al muslimaini, al muslimina. That's the difference. Wadih. That's the difference between jama' mudakkar salim and muthanna. 
when both of them are mansub or majroor i.e. when both of them are meant to have a fatha or a kasra because of grammar reasons uh, then or they're both meant to be in the state of uh, mansub or majroor what they call and they're not meant to have a dhamma then that would be the difference of course if it's marfu' as in it's the fa'il or the mubtada or the khabar and it's meant to have a dhamma yes then um, it's going to have an alif for the muthanna and a waw for the jama' mudakkar salim. So there's no confusion there. There's no confusion there. Okay? So you would say, for example, hadani al muslimani, muslimani. And you would say, hum or haulai al muslimuna, muna. So there would be no confusion there. The only confusion could be that with the ya'nun. So. There's no confusion if the harakat are written for you. But if the harakat are not written, then there is a little bit of um, space for confusion. But normally, they're confused because of the context. Because you would have hadhani before al-Muslimani, for example. And so on and so forth. Okay? Taib. Wadih. And then we have the jama' mu'annat salim. We already mentioned it. We add an alif and tab. Before we go on to practice, any questions? Okay then, now, no questions, then get ready for some practice. Uh, let me send you the link to WooClap. Bismillah. I've posted the link to WooClap in the chat. Please join. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to join, please. We're going to continue from where we left off last time. Okay. Now uh, we have... Shall we start? Let me know if you're still trying to join. So I can give you a bit of time. All right, then. <clears throat> I assume most of you are here. So here we go. This is basically the question. You have to label the image with the correct word. Now, as you can see, quickly to explain what's happening here, we have uh, a word, yes, which happens to be dhakiruna. So this is the plural. This is mudakkar, jama' mudakkar. All of it is salim. We're not doing jama' taksir at the moment. Jama' taksir requires a bit of memorization, okay? So we have this the mufrad mudakkar, mufrad mu'annath, muthanna mudakkar over here, and muthanna mu'annath over here. And then the jama' mudakkar over here, and the jama' mu'annath over here. I've given you the jama' mudakkar, and you just need to reverse engineer and fill out the rest. Slightly challenging, but then again, what's practice for? What's practice for? Don't add any harakat, please. Do not add any fatha, kasras, or dhammas. Just write the word without any fatha, kasras, or dhammas, number one. And also, only write the original form, i.e. when it's meant to have a dhamma. Okay, don't write the other form when we add a ya and noon because it's meant to be a mansub or majroor. We'll come to that later. Just write the original form when it's marfu' um, when it's meant to have a dhamma, or what takes its place. And this is something that is clear, it has to be uh, explain to all of you, which is that um, that the why do we say originally meant to have a dhamma? Because words we know when they're fa'il, when they're mubtada, when they're khabar, they're meant to have a dhamma. We learned that. But there are certain words in the Arabic language that can't accept a dhamma at the end, that can't accept a fatha at the end, that can't accept a kasra at the end. Those words. Yes, there are different ways to show 
when it's actually marfu as in when it's the fa'il or mubtada and when it's mansub when it's the object or mafu'un bi there are different ways to show this okay so we've learned today one of the different ways is that when it comes to muthanna alif stands for marfu' dhamma whereas ya stands for mansub or majrur i.e. when it's uh, an object or when it's uh, preceded by harf jar okay and there are other ways there's not the time to explain that but just so that you are aware now inshallah, I want you just to have a go at this inshallah let's see how it goes Taif, I will give you uh, let's say one minute okay Okay, so we have Jama' Mudakkar Dhakirun. So I would say to you, reverse engineer and start with this. Get rid of whatever has been added to get this. Then from here, you can work your way to the rest. Okay, I could have just given you this one, but that would have been too easy. And you know, we don't like to make things too easy, right? Right. How's it going? Don't reveal the correct answer too early. Let me know in the chat. I need a bit more time. Okay. So I'll give it 15 more seconds. Yalla. All right. Five, four, three. Two, one, zero. All right. Um, seems like nobody answered. What is it, me? Did I send the correct link? Is that right? Um. Did I send the correct link, everyone? Okay, I don't know. Nobody answered yet. I'll give another minute, inshallah. Seems like one person answered so far. Answered part of it. As a matter of fact, let me reset this, this answer. Resend the link. There you go. But I'm going to reset this particular question. Give me a moment. Actually, let me, let's start with this one. This is actually the easier one. Let's start with the easier one. Um, let's reset this one. All right. All right, let's start with this one. Muhandis. No need to reverse engineer. You can just work your way through it, inshallah. So Muhandis, that's the easier one. Let's start with that. So I'll give you a minute. Okay, explain again how we're going to complete this. Well, I've explained Jama. Um, I'll quickly explain it, no problem. Those of you that might have missed it, right, come a bit late. And those of you that know it, you can do it, inshallah. So we have uh, Jama. We'll be doing Jama today, plurals. And we have the Mufrad, obviously the singular and the Muthanna. The Muthanna, you add an Alif and Noon. So I'm just giving you to a very uh, condensed manner. The muthanna is basically the singular, Muslim, plus an alif and noon, Muslimani. And then the jama, we have two types. We have jama, mudakkar. Okay, muslimah, Muslim becomes Muslimani. And muslimah, muslimatun, as in the female, becomes Muslimatani. And the jama, we have two types. We have jama, which is mudakkar salim, which is male. And we have mu'annat salim, which is female or feminine. For the masculine, we add an alif, uh, a waw and a noon. So Muslim becomes Muslimuna. And for the female, we add an alif and ta. So Muslim, Muslimah, Muslimatun becomes Muslimat. Okay? And when I say we add an alif and ta, we add an alif and ta to the original Muslim, not to the Muslimatun. 
you don't say Muslim attack, Muslim attack, like Muslimat. So the ta marbuta, we got rid of that because we added that just to show that it's feminine, but we don't need to show that anymore because it's already plural. We already have the alif and ta over here. So we just add an alif and ta. So if you start with the singular, which is Muslim, you can easily fill out the rest. So let's go back to the question. Let's go back to the question. We have. Um, there we go. So we have Muhandis. Muhandis. So what do you add in order to get duo? Or even before you do that, what do you add to Muhandis to make it feminine? Muannath, what do you add? Okay, then what do you add to make these two words duo? And then what do you add in order to make this word plural? So again, the Muthanna is taken from the Mufrad and the Jama'ah is also taken from the Mufrad. You don't add something to make a jama' to the muthanna. No, you go back to the original with the mufrad. So what do you add to the mufrad? We always go back to this, the mufrad. Okay? Wadih? Yeah, so you press the number at clap, and then you write the word that corresponds. Okay, so it's going to be empty box. You write there what corresponds. So you're going to click on number one, and you write, you write with the muthanna and Then you click on number two, you write with the Jama'a Mudakkaris. Then you click on number three. You write with the Mufrad Mu'annath is. Four, Muthanna Mu'annath, Jama'a Mu'annath. Okay? Now I'll give it 30 more seconds, inshallah. I can see that six of you answered so far. So I'll give it a little bit more time. They will give it ten more seconds, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. What? So even if you haven't completed it, please just submit it, inshallah. Um, shall next question. I'll try and give you more time. Okay, Bismillah. All right. So we have this one here. We have Muhandisani. Eighty-eight percent correct. I wonder what the wrong answer was. Nothing will show me. Then we have this one, Muhandisuna. Again, eighty-eight percent correct. Okay, so Muhandisani, we add Alif and Noon. Muhandis, Muhandisani. And this one, we add a Wawa Noon. Muhandis, Muhandisuna. Okay, then the Mufrad, we add a Tamar Boto, obviously, Muhandisa, 100% correct, mashallah. Then we have Muhandisatani, 88% correct. Yes, so we add just an Alif and Noon to the Muhandisa. So we have Muhandisatun here with the Ta, we add an Alif and Noon. And then this Ta is what is the difference between Mudakkar and Mu'annath. The Mudakkar, masculine, is mostly Muhandisan. Whereas the Mu'annath is Muhandisatan. So that ta is a difference. And then we have the Jama', which basically we take Muhandis, we add Alif and Ta, which makes it Muhandisat. Wadih, any questions? Any questions? Wadih. We'll have another go, inshallah, but is that clear? My dear brothers and sisters, is there a gap in your understanding? Even if you made a mistake, but you understand your mistake, then that's fine. All right? So understanding it is one thing, implementing it is something else. Okay, alhamdulillah, very clear. All right, so let's go to the next one then. All right, then. We did this one earlier, let's do it again. So this time round, I give you. Not the original, the first letter, the first word I give you, uh, the jama' mudakkar. And then you have from this, you have to figure out the mufrad, and then you can work your way through the rest. Slightly more challenging than the previous one. Yalla, you've got one minute. Bismillah. Should we add a timer to these questions? Actually, I might as well do it now, one second. Uh, let's uh, edit this. Please don't look at the answers. There you go. You got one minute.
I hope a minute is long enough. <laughs> if not, I'll add more time, inshallah. It's probably not enough, eh? And I'll add, a, I'll add another 30 minutes, inshallah. 30 seconds, sorry. Yalla. Start over one minute, guys. We got one minute and 30 seconds. Start it over again, the minute. Oh, uh, time is almost running out. Only got six answers so far. I'm going to be generous, inshallah. I'll give you another 10 seconds, Yalla. When it's 45, I'm going to stop again. Ayyib. Father. Three, two, one, zero. Time's up. Right. Let's see the results. Actually, that's how I see the results, mashallah. All right, let's go to the first one. So first one we have... Let's go to the Mufrad actually. Let's see how many people got that right. So the Mufrad, all of you got it right. Dakir, Mumtaz. So far, so good. Okay, how about the Mu'annath? Dakir, 100% correct. These two are easy, mashallah. How about the Muthanna? We have Dakirani, which is the correct answer. One of you wrote Dakirah with the Tamar Bhutala. And I think I know where the mistake happened. You mixed up between Muthanna and Mu'annath. Ah, I'm sure that's where the mistake lies. But even if you did, then I would say to you, you have no excuse. Why? Because this Muthanna is next to Jama'a and Mufad. Whereas this Mu'annath is next to Mudakkar. So you should know the difference. You should know the difference, okay? Um, no, no, every time I go to results, it starts all over again. Okay. So Dhaqira, that's wrong. And we have Dhaqi Raini. I, I assume it's Zaki Raini, but I did say to you, don't write the yeah. Let's just stick with the default, which is the alif. Okay, then we have uh, this one, Zaki Ratani. That's the correct answer. One of you wrote Zaki Rani. La, this meant to be Mu'annath, female. And Zaki Ratani, again, uh, I told you not to use the yeah. Then here we have Zaki Rat. One of you wrote Zaki Raini or Zaki Rina. No. And one of you wrote the. Girah, the Kirah with a Tamar Bota and a Noon. No. Tamar Bota only ever comes at the end of a word. So since we're adding something to the word, Tamar Bota is completely out of the window. So that Tamar Bota only ever comes at the end of a word. Okay? Right. No problem. Yalla, third time. This was actually the easiest one. I don't know how we mixed up. <laughs> we start with the most difficult one. Anyway, no problem. This is the easiest one, inshallah. Muslim, Muslimah, just fill out the Muthanna, the Jama'ah, the Muthanna and the Jama'ah, inshallah ta'ala. So I can give you a timer again. Uh, this time I'm not going to give you any second more than one minute. So keep that in mind. Okay, you got exactly one minute this time to fill that out. Okay, there's no answers coming in yet. Is everyone there? Bismillah. I have to give you three seconds extra, don't I? There we go. I'll give you some more time. That seems like a spelling mistake. Muslimab. It's probably meant to be a nuna. Inshallah. 
Then here we have Muslimuna and Muslimina. I did say to you, stop writing the ya. The ya will do that later on. For now, we just want the default, which is the wow. Okay, Muslimina, it's correct, but we're not doing that now. Then we have Muslimatani, correct? Muslimat, no, Muslimat doesn't belong here. Muslimat is over here, Muslimat. And Muslimunat. Oh, okay, so I love this one. This is called self, this is called improvisation, improvisation mashallah. So you have Muslimuna and then you added a tamar at the end. <laughs> Muslimunatun. <laughs> Allahu Akbar That's improvising mashallah But that's wrong <laughs> Tamar Bota it is a sign of Feminine But only for the Mufrad the singular Not when you come to Jama' and Muthanna Tamar Bota plays no role anymore Okay but I do like the creativity mashallah Allah Mabarik Okay Mumtaz Is for the Nasb and Jar Yeah yes for the Nasb and Jar we use yeah We're not doing that now Okay, so we're going to do another one. We're going to do some quizlet, inshallah. So I want you to join. Post the link. There's the code. We're going to do a quick uh, competition on quizlet. So here, you are going to be presented with a picture, with an image. Okay? And then, according to the image, you choose the most suitable word. All right? Now, I have to tell you something here, and I'll tell you beforehand. When it comes to plural, when it comes to plural, then Jama' Mu'annath Salim. Only, we only ever get Jama' Mu'annath Salim if we have a plural where all of the members, all of them are female. That's the only time we can get Jama' Mu'annath Salim. So, for example, If we have 10 women and one man, what's that total? It gives us 11 people, right? What do we do? Do we say, wait a minute, most of them are women. So let's use the the feminine sound plural. Or do we use the masculine sound plural? Okay. Well, there. So we have one man and 10 women. What do we use? Tell me in the chat. Do we say, Muslimuna? Or do we say Muslimat and we say to that man, you know what? The women outnumber you. Okay? Masculine. Nah. Masculine. Yes. So that's the rule. The rule is that we only ever have Jama' Mu'annat Salim and all of them are women. If, however, there's one man among them, even if there are a hundred, then we still use that Jama' Mudakkar Salim. So the default is Jama' Mudakkar. That's the default. Okay? That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, in many places Allah talks about Al-Mu'minun. Yes? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qad aflah al-Mu'minun. Okay? Now we don't want then someone to come and be like, okay, subhanallah, Allah is saying that the, 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 the ones that are successful are the male believers. La. La. When we use Jama' Mudakkar Salim, even though it's called Jama' Mudakkar Salim, in opposition to Jama' Mu'annat Salim Jama' Mudakkar Salim It encompasses everyone and everything Yes Unless it's all women So Qad Aflah al Mu'minun Means All of the believers Are successful Male or female Okay Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu Okay that is, that is masculine Pronoun But it also includes All of the female believers Okay And so on and so forth Of course sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Mentions them separately on certain occasions in the muslimina wal muslimati wal mu'minina wal mu'minati wal qanitina wal qanitati the long ayah allah mentioned them each separately okay no problem that also allah ta'ala does somewhere in the, some places in the quran however any place where in the quran or the hadith you come across a jama' that is mudhakkar salim then it includes men and women unless it specifically states that this only applies to men or there's a specific proof to prove that this only applies to men. Well, please keep that in mind. So you're going to come across some of those images. Uh, so make sure you keep that in mind. So everyone there on Quizlet, before we start the competition, because once we start, timer will run down, and you will get your points. And we're going to see who's going to win, inshallah. 
Is everyone ready? Has everyone joined? He said, uh, no players couldn't leave game. All right. How did that happen? I posted the link, no? I'm having trouble joining. I don't know post it again. Worst case scenario, download the app or use the code. That's the code if you're looking for the code. But if nobody can join, then there might be another issue then. Yeah, I'll give, I don't really know. I'll, I'll, I'll hang around. Because nobody joined yet, so it seems to be an issue. Okay, clearly there seems to be an issue. Waiting for a host. All right, how does that make sense? I'm not the host? I know I am. Then let me refresh, give me a moment. Uh, Bismillah. Okay, good, yeah, so we've got... um. We've got about uh, nine of you here, Mumtaz. Okay, shall we start then? Nine of you are here. Anybody else want to join quickly? Uh, you can send me a message if you haven't joined yet. I'm going to give you 10 seconds, 10, nine, and then after 10 seconds, we're going to start. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so I think it's the nine of you. Five, get ready then. Bismillah. Three, two, one, start. Yalla. Okay, mashallah. So these are the questions. This one question, for example, you get this image, then you have to choose either Muslim, Muslima, Muslimani, or Muslimuna, and so on and so forth. You're going to see these images, and you have to pick the correct one, inshallah. Here you have three people. Okay. All right. Obviously, all of you will get these questions randomly. You want to all get the same questions. So let's have a look at the leaderboard. Masha Ibn Amr is on top. Things are changing quickly, mashallah. Inshallah. Ibn Amr is still on top. Mashallah. Mashallah, streak of 10 questions, right? I think here the, 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 the key here, if you really want to win, is not to make any mistakes. Uh, accuracy trumps speed. Okay, so you can see the three people on top. They're there because they haven't made a mistake yet. So they don't uh, want a no mistake streak, mashallah. Some of them on 12. 11, no mistake streak. 13 answers. It's only 15 questions. So uh, right now it seems like Mulana and Ibn Amr are really battling it out based on speed because they're both on 14. No mistake streak, mashallah. So Ibn Amr just about made it on top, I think. Just about made it on top. Oh, no. No. 40 point difference. Mm, that, that's tight. That's really tight, mashallah. Okay, it's a few of you still having a go at it, uh, but most of you are already done. I can't get into it even that boy. I don't know what happened really, but um, 
We're gonna have another go, inshallah. So this is the top five. This is the top five, mashallah. Ulana, Ibn Amr, Maryam. Okay, Elias, mashallah. Elias is still having a go, no? Are you done? I think Elias is done. So this, this is the, the top five, mashallah. Okay, then. All right. That's great. All right, then. So we'll, uh, we'll start again, inshallah. Um, so what are, what's your input? What do you find difficult? We'll have another round, inshallah. Don't worry. Okay. So we can see that the accuracy here is 89%, which is, inshallah, good for the first start. Uh, let's have another go, inshallah. Okay. Bismillah. So I think... Oh, how do you restart? Do I have to like end and start again? Uh, that's pausing the quiz. Let's see which mistakes people made. So one of the mistakes that people made here is when you have one woman and one man, what do you say? Like I said, the masculine is the is the um the default. So this would be Muslimani. All right. Uh, another mistake that people made was on question this question fourteen, which is the same question. All right. So these questions they come back sometimes, uh, multiple times. So the same question. Okay. So that seems like most of you made a mistake on that. So I hope uh, that has been cleared up now. Inshallah. So we're going to end this one and we're going to start it again. I hope it allows me to restart. Bismillah. Um, where does it take me? Okay, so Ulan is first, and Amr is second, Maryam is third. All right. Um, let's see what it does after that. I did not see the images at all, just the one in the middle. I don't know what happened there. Right. When we restart, you play again. Who does? All right. Let's play again. Hopefully it's the same link. Um, is it the same link? Jimmy, alhamdulillah. Seems a lot of headache. Okay, that's great. Three, eight, six, four, what? No, it seems like it's a different link, actually. I think all of you are uh, inputting the code, huh? Is that so? Nevertheless, for those of you that like to use the link, I'm going to. How are you getting in, by the way? Is the same link? I don't think it's the same link. Is it? Is it showing me a, it's showing a different join code? Is it the same? Oh, if you stayed on the page, it restarts. Okay. Okay, alhamdulillah. So if you didn't stay on the same page, you want to get in, then I'll post a new link. Okay. I posted automatically asks you to rejoin. Okay, Muta. So I've got eight of you here. Who's still missing? I'm sure, we were nine, weren't we? Somebody missing? Somebody missing? Please rejoin. We only have eight now. We initially had nine. Someone is supposed to join again. And I'll give it 10 seconds and then I'll start, inshallah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Bismillah. It's going to be the last round because time's up. We need to go to the workshop, so make sure you make the most of it. Bismillah. All right. So he's going to look at the top five. See what happens. Land is on top again. Mashallah. Very strong start.
Yeah, so I have to restart. I can see it's still a very tight, tight one here. Fulan is still on top, mashallah. Ilyas is catching up. Inshallah. Ilyas on top, Fulan is on top. Back and forth. It's a two horse race at the moment. Is it going to be Ilyas or Fulana? I think it's going to be Fulana. Oh, yeah. That's a tight one. Allahum Barik. That was a tight one again. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Ilyas bin Awis. Are you playing twice? <laughs> MashaAllah. How are you doing that? Yusuf Aisha. Yes, always. Bye, Mumtaz. So it seems like we have our top five. Uh, fourth and fifth spot is being battled for right now. Very fierce battle, mashallah. And uh, I think we are. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's the the end. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Okay, inshallah, we'll do more of this, inshallah. Let me know what you think. Alhamdulillah. So yeah, so the third place is Ibn Amr. Second place, Ilyas. Fulana is first place again. Allahumma barik. Ba'ib. Barakallah fikum. These students have mastered 100%, mashallah. Ba'ib. Okay then. Um... We will uh, suffice with that. Barakallah fikum. If I look at the questions, I can see that uh, this question people got wrong. Muslimani, just like the other one as well. Um, I'm going to go over to the workshop, inshallah. I'll post the link in the chat. Um, oh, you haven't been able to join. Link didn't work for you. I'm sorry to hear that. Next time you can use the code, inshallah. So we're going to go over to the workshop, inshallah. Workshop, we're going to do similar to what we normally do, which is we're going to do spin the wheel. We're going to do uh, some, if you like, uh, speaking prompts and, and similar things. I don't have much time to show it now, inshallah. So you'll see it in the workshop. So you're going to make your own sentence. Uh, you can have a few speaking prompts here. And also we have the random image spin the wheel activity. So I'll see all of you in the workshop, inshallah. هذا والله أعلم صلى الله عليه وسلم على نبينا محمد والسلام عليكم ورحمة 